It's my pleasure to be in this office meeting with Tokyo. Currently, I'm seven years old in first grade and homeschooling. Now, I would like to start my interview questions. Okay. Go ahead. What's the strongest, what's strongest one to always be? I'm sorry, what was it? Why strongest want to always be your strongest enemies? Why the strongest people always want to beat me? Is like, that the question? Yeah, like anyone, mm -hmm. anyone which is weaker than them. Why? Why do stronger people want to beat weaker people? Yeah. Is that the idea? It's not always the case. Sometimes the stronger people support weaker people. But I mean, some of them want to fight against weaker Why? Well, I guess they like women. If they fight with somebody stronger, um, they probably won't win. But they probably get better. Like, they, even by I mean very beginners, like a, a player which already started today. Yes, a player that already started today. And he should not fight them. Do you know, equality always needs to come. Stronger fight stronger, weaker fight weaker. Mm -hmm. You mean that uh, in order to have a fair competition, one yeah. need to uh, challenge? A stronger cannot fight a weaker, and a weaker cannot fight a stronger. Okay. Stronger and a weaker is an equality. No okay. messing up or like, yeah. Well, him and you. It's mm -hmm. so rude. Yeah. Uh, sometimes in competitions such as uh, Go or Wei uh, Qi, there is this system called uh, handicap system. So that if I'm a weaker player and you are a stronger player, you can stronger gives. You, know, you can give me a few moves um, so that uh, I even my playing field with you. That's so, my way of like making you stronger until. Yes. You're mastered up. That's exactly right. Next. Why is why is technology so slow? So slow. Why is technology why technology so slow? What kind of technology do you have in mind? Like nanobots. The first kind of nanobot is Neuralink. Yeah, we're not developing and companies don't care anything. Why? But there are people researching in nanobots. So I thought uh, your, your question, I understand it as why couldn't it be faster? Yeah. Okay, um, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that many people only start to work on a technology when uh, they know how to make a application from it. That is to say, science is about understanding the unknown. Technology is about applying it to the current world. And if there's no um, existing ways to apply a technology, then people won't invest on it as much as uh, you would like to. So that's the first thing. So a more understanding of how application um, and how to apply it in the real world, that's needed. So uh, the other thing uh, in things like nanobots uh, may simply be it's a very difficult um, subject. And there's only a handful of people who can make contributions to this field. It's just like we should not do Mars space. We have to do moon base, but before we do the moon base, we have to solve to make Earth better. A what? I'm sorry? But before we make a moon base or a Mars base yet, Mars base after moon base. But before we make a moon base, we have to first but before moon base, we have to first solve Earth, like stop pollution there. Ray is talking about 
human colonization and civilization evolution that currently scientists are thinking about to colonize our Mars. But before we get onto Mars, how about take hold for the previous step? And before we reach this successfully, how about we take care of the Earth? to be a more eco-friendly environment? Not like stupidly pollution and like companies being lazy, not caring about Earth. Um, do I understand you correctly that you feel that people may take a more Mo escapist? Money is useless. I'm sorry? Money is just useless. Okay. Money is useless in the pursuit of uh, environmental. Yeah, conflicts? it's actually useless at all. Okay. What I talk about cottage shell scale. The cottage shell scale is depending from type zero to type omega and more. Okay. There are mainly seven types. Type zero. Type there is mainly up to type 7. Type 0, type 0 0.75 is humans. Type 0 0.75 is humans. We're, it looks like we've already colonized our full planet, but we didn't solve any challenges to make Earth into a more better and friendly world, rather than the old times, like pollution after 1978. Okay, so you would like uh, people to focus more on this planet rather than escaping to Mars or to the Moon or to other planets. Yeah. Do I understand you correctly? And, and type 1 is... Th there is a type 0 civilization. Beginner civilization which has 1 to 12 citizens. Then they start up to a bit higher than type 0. Type 1 civilizations already have their control of their full planet. Now, expanding to Type 2 begins. We start building moon bases and Mars bases, maybe even Venus bases. But when we run out of energy supply, the only thing what we should do, build a Dyson Sphere. The Dyson Sphere can have infinite energy. Yeah, I'm aware of Dyson Spheres. Yeah. Also, colonization has to go quickly. And then after the Dyson Spheres, they'll keep going until they reach Type 2. We are not, but if there are civilized other aliens then, there is only possible to find aliens which are from Type 0 to Type 2.5. So type two means the gain control to their for their whole solar system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm but aware of that. Of that. Mm -hmm. But even if Dyson sphere is finished, then technology for the faster than speed of light. But if the Dyson sphere is finished, technology for speed of light can be possible because it requires an infinite amount of energy no worries okay so what you're saying is that um, if we build a dyson sphere sometime in the future then uh, faster and light travel may become possible but progress to type from that scale progress to type 3 begins mm -hmm. for type 3 civilizations we may be so curious Usually, a civilization is cu curious, competitive, greedy, and expansionist. But humans are not curious, competitive, greedy, and expansionist. Okay. To, for type 3 guys, they also have a black hole bomb. Mm -hmm. It's like a black hole civilization, which can also 
Type 3 civilizations also can be between only the civilizations crossing one galaxy. From progress to type 4 begins. Type 4 civilizations go with a lot of universes, multiple universes. Mm -hmm. Then progress to mm -hmm. Type 5 civilizations can colonize super clusters. Mm -hmm. But this isn't the end at all. There ultimately may be a type omega civilization mm -hmm. able to colonize the whole universe and possibly others. Type omega civilizations may be the actual creators of our universe. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're just born. Mm -hmm. uh, pizza universe. That's Back probably the case. Mm -hmm. Back to question okay. How do we stop very strong enemies? How do we stop strong enemies? Yeah. Is that the idea? Like a group of 10 bullies. Mm -hmm. Way too strong. So, I'm sorry, but um, are, do you consider those bullies your enemies? Kind of like stuff. Or do you think that they consider you the enemy? That's very different perspective. Then, how do you stop them? Well, first of all, if I don't consider them enemies, they are not my enemies. I mean, if anyone was your enemy. I don't really consider anyone my enemy. Then, so how do you stop strong enemies? By having no enemies. But you're not. But. Or ask others help, though. I'm sorry? Or ask others help? Of course, asking others will help. But um, some others will not help and become more enemies. Okay. So that's a problem. Of course, there's a problem. But I think it's important to uh, understand that if more people become aware of the situation, then people also form alliances, coalitions, uh, that bands together to work common values. So if you ask people and they don't want to offer help, well, ask more people, other people. Now, fourth question. If someone does harm or bullies me, should I defend them this, like, mm -hmm. Okay, is that dancing or boxing? No, wait. Ah, okay. Is it, is it correct or not? Mm -hmm. Well, if you feel correct, then that's correct for you. What, what matters is whether you like yourself. If you like yourself doing this, then that's probably correct. Question five. Yeah, this question is awkward. Mm -hmm. Is there any more skills for defending for me? I've only learned to you, like using my to block them. How do you practice more skills for defending yourself again from bullies? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think um, having a solid communication skill so that but you can say, let others know that you're being bullied, but, that helps. But those bullies would say, hey, you loser. Mm -hmm. Okay. They may say that. Then how do you stop them? From saying that, you, you probably can't stop other people saying things. Saying loser is a bad word. How so? Do not call others loser all the time, all the time, then they will cry or be angry at you. That's a pretty good way to uh, practice yourself. So do not call others loser. Okay, I agree. But if other people call you or other people losers, well, that's their problem. It's not our problem. Or just walk away peacefully and let them mind their own business. Well, that works too. I mean, the whole point is to There's deny them enjoyment. 
if they enjoy bullying, then they bully more. If they don't find it um, joyful, then they probably won't do that anymore. But before question six, a couple means to to someone. But even if there is type omega civilization, mm -hmm. progress to type six begins. Mm -hmm. Yes, there may be multiple civilizations that still exist. Type six is when you colonize universes. Mm -hmm. Almost like forming universe clusters. Mm -hmm. Type seven civilizations would colonize a multiverse. Mm -hmm. Yes. But from higher civilizations, colonization becomes faster because higher population and more ones to colonize now. That's right. And years wouldn't be so bad. Mm -hmm. Or bad future would not come so soon if we prepare rightly enough. I totally agree. Type 8 civilizations can colonize the megaverse and type 9 civilizations could colonize a hyperverse. Mm -hmm. But this isn't all. But this isn't all. Mm -hmm. Type 10 civilizations can colonize an omniverse. An omniverse is like a universe of universe. Mm -hmm. type, uh, only a type 10 civilization is just like a C civilization. A type 10 is almost a C civilization. Mm -hmm. Colonizing a full omniverse becomes you, tells you to become a type C civilization. Type C civilizations are like the opposite of type omega. Mm -hmm. It is a omega omega. C, C omega omega civilizations. Mm -hmm. Oops. A uh, omega civilization, um, um, a universe of universes is an uh, omniverse. A multiverse is a universe cluster, like kind of Earth. Mm -hmm. But enough, this doesn't end here. Some scientists may believe that there could be higher civilizations. Mm -hmm. Not just five. They can be seven, nine, eleven, fifteen, mm -hmm. seventeen, twenty-six, or even fifty-seven. Wow, that's a lot. The actual one is endless. Mm -hmm. From type eleven, you could find a X universe, mm -hmm. which is an omniverse which are uh, omniverse cluster. This isn't all. The bubble doesn't always end at one place. Mm -hmm. Slowly, it doesn't help you. Back to question six. Okay. How do you help yourself from big danger? Like, what if you're surrounded by fire? Mm -hmm. How do you call for help? Mm -hmm. Well, if I have my phone, I'll we'll probably call. Um, like 199. That's right. 119, but yes. That's right. Because this is Asia. Then, police and firefighters and ambulance will come. Mm -hmm. If anyone is injured, police and ambulance will go. Please That's exactly right. Please and firefighters try to wash out the fire then. Mm -hmm. Or what if you are next to a tsunami? Mm -hmm. Running away wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. Then what should you do? Well, if I'm surrounded uh, by a tsunami, I would probably find some uh, safe place, uh, like a bunker or something, and evacuate into that place. 
or, or you if you're, to somewhere higher. Or if you're inside the rip current, the only way out is to get all the way back to the place you started with. And then mm -hmm. run away. The rip that current works. may cause tsunamis now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I will still call on one eye uh, and let the helicopter know of my position. Yeah. Next is a very good question, I think. Okay. How do you make friends that they accept being friends with you? Some friends don't accept being friends with you. Like, say, oh, I don't like you. You're just so dumb, you are. I'm scared of you. Let's run away. And then you get nicer and then you get angry because they keep running away. Okay. Well, I think um, just finding out the common interest or common values, the things that both you and that person consider important, that's a very good success. Or like, say, you want to be my friend, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can try that. And if it doesn't work on the first try, you can try it again later. How, how to change enemies to friends because there is an enemy to both of you guys. Mm -hmm. How do you change enemies to friends? Because there is an enemy which is both enemy to you and both the enemy to your enemy. Mm -hmm. then how do you stop? Usually, I think it's easier uh, if you it's can identify. Like, as do I you said, think it, it, it's and hard? Others. And then if he answers yes, it mm -hmm. is. Let's say, what about we form a team then? And, okay, we would. And then it's like, imagine one person okay. is me. And then I fight my brother. Mm -hmm. And then later on, my there are the mothers of the children. Okay. And then they fight each other. Me and my brother form another team. But then something, but also those mothers saw some strangers and okay. they fought against the strangers. Okay. And then they win. Mm -hmm. So, do you like that? Begin from one thing. It starts interacting with only couple, a couple. It start interacting with a one versus one. Okay. Then it's between couples of people. Mm -hmm. The possible amount of number fights for the second stage could be two to five. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's sorry, not six or seven. Mm -hmm. But then several amounts of people then fight at the third stage. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just like taking a lot of water and another water bucket and then flushing them together. Mm. This is how those people are up to. Mm -hmm. The amount of people are from one to fifteen at the third stage, and at the fourth stage, and then it keeps going until strangers come. Mm -hmm. They have to fight the strangers and then they have to make us win. It's just like what I mean about this. Okay. So turn <coughs> strangers either to friends or not to lose against strangers. Seems to what you're after. Not is how do you stop bad climate and change? Nuclear. How do you stop bad climate change and nuclear war? Is there a good climate change in your opinion? No. There's a lot of CO2 that I no more see stars in my home anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you think it's um, about CO2 control, then usually we can make sure that we don't make CO2. And later on, maybe we capture some of the CO2 back from then the how air. do you stop nuclear war? Well, I think one of the ways to stop a nuclear war is to make sure
sure that there is no access to nuclear missiles uh, in the first place. To uh, constantly reduce the amount of nuclear weapons on this planet and agree not to make more. And finally, at last, question 10. How do you know what CPUs want? What, you, what? How do you know what computers want? Like, like, do they want to, uh, like, do they want to solve your problem? Mm -hmm. And how do you know what they say? Like, they say zero, zero, one, one, zero, mm -hmm. zero. Zero one. So what does it mean? Like kind of like that. Yeah, you can ask them. Uh, it's called the assembly language. If you learn that language, uh, it translates the binary code into. But human there's also language. an app that can translate from yes. binary push to English. Yes. That's or you can change languages. the English to any language, like Zhongwen, Russian, right. Muskin. Yes. Or even Espanol. Yes. If you're a different language person. Yes. So if you learn computer languages, you can find out the state of the CPU. But how about vice versa? How mm -hmm. do they know what do you want? Like, how do they know you want to just eat cookies? Mm -hmm. You can tell it. Like, I want to eat cookies. But they may not understand because they do not. Eat cookies themselves? Yeah. That's right. But they may actually um, understand in the sense that they understand what cookies mean to you, even though cookies mean nothing to a CPU. Yeah. This is for us. Here. Cool. Here. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of like devil and the okay. bad guys. Those okay. are the good spirits. Okay. You don't like those, and this is the team of you guys okay you they are trying to fight your this kind okay. this devil is your bully. so there's strengths in numbers right if you this have a lot of friends too. that helps remember you them. had a lot of bullies uh -huh. now this your you okay now this you and the leader here are the leaders and you okay and here are the, the team. Fr the friendly spirits. Yeah. The team mm -hmm. fighting your bully. Excellent. Thank you for destroying. Do I have some time for my question? Yes, of course. Okay. Can it be my turn now? Yes, you could. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the questions. Audrey, I would like to ask. As you have heard, a lot of his question is how do you stop, how do you stop, how do you stop, blah, 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 blah. Then, do you ever generate the thought of how to stop something, someone like Ray does? Or no. No? Mm -hmm. So, I'm wondering how to get rid of such kind of fear. So, do you mean you're super? No, I mean that it's easier to uh, build something than to stop something. For me, personally. All right. Okay. And the next is, have you ever had fear of possible danger due to your high sensitivity, or uh -huh. probably you get aware of it earlier than some someone else? Yeah, and then I call one 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 nine. <laughs> <laughs> or, or are you sensitive enough? Uh huh. Yeah. If you smell like something burning before other people do, you are the first one that calls one one nine. <laughs> you don't call one one night when you get bullied in school or... Uh -huh. I did, I, I talked to the teachers. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. teachers are kind of like one one night now. Ah, okay. Uh, right, okay. And next question is, when you were a kid, did you ever tell anyone about your, your super big dream? Mm -hmm. Yes, all the time. I also read up on Dyson Sphere and all that. Right, Space okay. elevators. Okay, so yes. Mm -hmm. have already become super, kind mm -hmm. of like special people like uh, Martian Boy, mm -hmm. your, your 
Elon Musk or maybe before the future. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you ever feel supported and how do you realize your dream mm -hmm. bit by bit with when you, people around you? Well, it's not just my dream, right? You also share well, the you same dream. in the government, mm -hmm. you've earned a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That was That's right. good and impressive. Thank you. Okay, so I would like to ask the question as also because of Ray. He also had a dream to build up his own business at a very mm. early age. Yes. And we are thinking about And maybe colonize Mars and so <laughs> <Yeah>. forth. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are thinking about mm. how to help him. I mm. think we are parents. I mm. think if I have been surrounded by too much if I sur if I am surrounded by fifty kidnappers, then I will call one one nine. Yes. I, I, like I hear you. Just like one people, mm -hmm. just like one people cheat on your money, then mm -hmm. call one six five to get the money back. That's exactly right. That's the police department. Yes. And others such as one one three, one one zero, one one two, one nine five seven depend on other stuff. Yes. And if you feel no danger and just want to find out time, that's one one seven. Okay, my, can I go to the next question? Yes, you could. Okay, thank you. So what's the key point, the key mm -hmm. that to let you run a business at a very young age? Mm -hmm. what, what is the most basic criteria to make you successful? Mm -hmm. That you yeah. did it at, at a youngster? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's mostly just to find out uh, what people really uh, want to do together because my startups were all internet startups in the sense that it's not me doing all the things, but rather uh, setting up, say, a eBay-like auction site or a search engine, uh, the commonality or a uh, social media. And the commonality is that it all relies on citizens and people to contribute uh, content to that platform. So it's not me that discovered the business model. I just built a space uh, for meaningful exchanges to happen. Okay. So, my last question is, mm -hmm. have you ever felt that you are one foot in a conventional stone, get stuck, and the other foot that you feel like you want to get out of here? No, I, I, I didn't feel that way. No, I mean, yeah. kind of like... Yeah, when, when I encountered the internet, I think uh, I just migrated there. Yeah. Yeah, so the norms on the internet, which is like very much out there, right? it's not uh, limited by conventions uh, because across the internet nobody knows that I was just 12 or just uh, 14 and so on so I can contribute uh, with what I understand as valuable instead of restricted by the, as you said, the traditions or the conventional roles and so on so I don't feel discriminated as a child Alright, yeah. thank you uh -huh. yeah. Kathy, Catherine had four questions Shumrai had an impressive talent total. Okay. okay. I, have, I, I might have two, may I? Yes, of course, go ahead. Okay. I have You're two. not speaking Chinese. Oh. <laughs> no, you're speaking Mandarin, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Uh, then I should switch to Chinese. Okay. So many houses. There are two questions. One is that you really like that kind of thing. You want to talk about yourself, and you want to find your own friends. I want to ask you that kind of 我們是從事訓練還是後面的那個從業的時候對那個因為他就是比較跟同年紀的小孩吧沒有在一起他就要從某方法去找因為之前他有試過去用 Yes, uh, yes that's about a question. How to find a friend mm -hmm. and find a teammate, mm -hmm. a friend, friend for you. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. is a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, so you're currently um, like uh, homeschooling or are you part of a uh, experimental group? Homeschool. So like uh, individual homeschooling. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yes. And you're based in... 台中, 台中, 
But there's there's actually quite a few communities in Taichung uh, that's focused on um, like alternative education and uh, maker spaces too, uh, and the social innovation uh, unit and so on. So my, my suggestion would just to be you know hang around those communities. Yeah. Because they tend to be more um, like co-creating across um, age groups. Yeah. And the last question is that this: uh, How do you feel about the movie? How? Is, uh, is how to is how 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 is 追求你的那个，就是我现在都还常常打坐。对，然后我知道你有参加一些心理治疗，就是如如何，就是这个是帮助你，就帮我自己本来如何追求，就是平静，嗯，就是，就我用那三个字，因为那三个字我从你看来就 calm confidence and comfort， 嗯，就是如何去追求这种，就是心灵的平静，嗯，是。追求你你想要的，因为嗯，你有感觉你有目标，像你有确定，在当初就放弃念高中，直接去做那个，做、嗯、做创业，对对，那其实是相当不容易的，就是如果走，就是想就是放下你的那种，就是一些就是不确定性，然后找到你的方向，嗯，嗯类似这样。嗯，当然有社群是很重要啊，因为我本来要去念的那所高中，很多咨询社的朋友都跟我说不用去念，如果不是他们这样鼓励我，我也比较不容易下这样子的决定。所以像刚才说的，在台中的不管自学的社群、团体自学，或者是呃有一些社会创新的呃，像在金武图书馆啊，都有一些社群啊 ，maker 社群等等，这些社群的支持啊都很重要，这样你就不会觉得说好像自己做这种决定是真。的。的是破釜沉舟的，而是呃，整个社群有很多人已经做过类似的事情了，那呃，心里也会比较实在，这是一部分。那另外一部分是说，不管靠打坐或其他方法也好，我觉得每天呃都要睡够，这个很重要。那可能大家都有听过我说，每天一定要睡八个小时。那如果呃晚上跟自己相处的时间不不够八个小时，我会用午休啊其他的方法把它补上。那这个也是很重要，因为如果没有睡够的话，昨天的不确定性会一直变成今天的明天的这样。嗯，对。Yeah, the boy who loves mom. About the improbable life of poor Adish. Yeah.、Um, okay. And he learned about it. that poor Adish inspired you to travel yes, around. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and he hoped that this tree, that Audrey can also inspire him to、okay. grow well and just、uh -huh. contribution to the society. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Ardish is very good at turning strangers to collaborators. Seven is the one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Here is the other country called Hungary.、Mm -hmm. Yes, in Budapest. What? I wonder how did the stuff float.、Mm -hmm. But, but the mother can't stay with him all the time because. But so she left him here. Mhm.、Mm、left him there.、Mm -hmm. But it's bad. Boy, my. Boy, hi. It's too、mm -hmm. bad because、mm -hmm. he had too many rules.、Mm -hmm. That was the problem. Paul hated rules. Mhm.、Mm、Paul cannot have any rules. Mhm.、Mm、he hated to be told when to sit still, when to and to go, when to go to sleep. So what could Paul do?、Mm -hmm. So he counted a lot of stuff and did so much.、Mm -hmm. Stay 
it was. She told her, Oh dear, who are born? What time? She told her, What dog from me? He told her, How many seconds? One, one billion nine million one hundred fifty two thousand three hundred fifty eight. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Then he played with them. He added them together and subtracted them. One day, he subtracted to take a bigger number that was smaller. Then the answer was less than zero. How could a number be less than zero? Then show numbers below and were negative numbers. That it was so cool. Yeah, then school. Mother sent me to school, but I don't want to go to school. I went away from school. Paul was. Paul do not. Paul do not like rules. So he got up and ran.
that makes your urdish number three. sharing. Thank you very much for your time. May mm -hmm. I take a picture with you? Sure, of course. Would you want to just sit here and we can take picture this way? Yeah, just stay where you are and maybe the picture could be taken like that. Oh, sorry. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last but not the least, could you? Please sign on this book. Of course. Where would you like me to sign? Anywhere. Anywhere I want. Okay. I'll sign. On it. Okay. I'll sign it here. If that's okay with you. And um, this is my Mandarin uh, signature, and I'll also sign uh, my English name here. All right. It's all curvy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's pretty curvy. It's exactly right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your talk. Yeah, thank you for making your time to Taipei too.